What's good guys, LM7 here, back with the second part for the Resistance Troop Transporter building tutorial. In the last episode, we, uh, you know, we built the entire body section. Now we just have the, um, the two side components to build and the front hatch, and we shall be done. So hopefully we'll finish it all in this part and then move on to a different set. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you know, all that fun stuff. I'm just saying it in advance. I'll also say it at the end of the video. But if you know if you like it, leave a like and all that fun stuff. All right. So the last section we have to do before we can start building the uh, side components is a little bit of work on the underside of our body. So to start off, we're going to take a four. Let's focus in here. There we go. A four by four circular plate. A round plate with hole through the center. It's not really important this time, but you never know. So then you take a one by four plate. I totally forgot what I was gonna say there. And then you take two one by two plates with the bar horizontally. Put them on top just like that. And that goes right here. So you center it with that just like that. And then right behind that round brick or round plate you take a two by four plate and put it like that now we're going to take eight two by two uh flat tiles so they're smooth on this side and they have the, the studs on this side so we're going to take eight of them so first off we're going to go to each corner of our body so one two go to the other side three and four, and then the other four go in the middle. So you start off, oh, how do I want to count it? You go one, two, three, and it goes right here, if I can get it. Why aren't you, hello, Mr. Studs? You not wanting to work today or something? All right, there we go. And then you go, one stud away like this. So then you go two studs from the center. Go another two, and there we go. So that is the bottom all finished. Now we just have to work on one small little section here. You take a two by six plate, put that right here. That keeps everything we just built in line. And then we take these little slope pieces, the one by two small slopes, and we put them in the middle. Or not in the middle, you put them on each side, like what I just did. So you take two there, and then you put two on the other side. So one, oh, that's kind of hard to see, so I'll just open it up for the time being. And two. All right, and now we are done with the body of the transporter. So just, you know, for room and sink, we're going to move that off to the side because these other parts we're going to connect in a little bit. So now we're going to build the left side of the transporter, the left little wing-ish section. So to start that off, you take a 4x4 four four plate, a 1x4 brick with three holes in the center, and put them like this. Two one by two plates going off from the brick. Just like this, and a two by four plate to go right here. All right, now we're gonna take two two by one plates, notch facing down, two studs on the front, like this, and we go to the back side and put those there. So don't put one on the front side. They both go to the back. Then you take a 1x4 plate and cover up that. All right. So that's our first little section done. Now we take a 2x1 plate. You're going to take two more of them, actually. So you take one here. You take another one and you go to the front. If I can get that on there. There we go. Just like this. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it 
focused weird like that, but anyway. You take a two by one plate, notch facing down, four studs on the front this time, and you put it on this little spot here. So now we're gonna take two wedges, one by two wedges, take two of them, face them downward, and put them on this little piece there, or completely break it off. That works too. But after you're done breaking them, uh, you wanna find the second one. And put it like this. So there we go. So there's the slope facing down. Okay. And then we take a two by one plate, put it right there, and a three by one plate. And put it like that. Alrighty. Now we take a four by one plate, so we're just gradually getting bigger, and a one by one plate. Put it on the bottom just like this and cover this section here. So we have this little square. It's a, it's a five by five square now, essentially. Anyway, now we're going to take a one by four brick with four studs on the front, face it backwards so you can't see the studs. Take a one by two decorative brick, make sure it's facing this direction and put it like this. So the vertical pattern is towards this brick here. And then you take a one by three brick and put it right there. Alrighty. Now we're going to take a one by two brick, two Technic pin hole through the center, a, another one by two plate, put it on top, easy, put it right there. And then we take a two by four brick and put it on the center right here. So we do have that little spot open right there. Okay, another one by two plate. You take that, and after you take this two by six plate, I almost forgot, you put that right there, and then you take the one by two plate and put it right there. Okay, so now we're gonna use a couple bricks, actually. I know, surprising. We're using real bricks. Um, if I can find it. Here it is. You want to take a 1x3 brick, put it on the corner. You take a 2x4 brick, put it right here. And then you take a 2x3 brick and put it right there. So the 2x3 is lower than the other ones. So now we have a little bit of a, a small Technic thing, kind of. It's an upside down building too. So you take a one by or not a one, a two by three brick, a two by one plate, put that in the center. Easy enough. Take a two by one brick, two holes through the center, put it on the back side, it doesn't matter, but just make sure that this side is this. So if you put it like this, then rotate it. Take these two by one plates, two bars coming off each side. Take two of those, if I can find the second one, here it is, take two of those, stack them on top of each other just like so, and put them like that. So now we have this little shape going on. Next we're going to take this car hull, or the front of a, you know, like the front of a car or truck or whatever, use it in city, it's four, it's four by three size, so you take one of those, and you just put it on top, just like that. And then we take two Technic pegs and put them in the only places you can put them. Flip it upside down and put it right here. So there's that, and now we have an upside down section. I think it's kind of cool to build upside down. Anyway, take a 1x4 brick, three holes in the center, put it like this, make sure it goes one past this plate. And then take three decorative 1x2 bricks, make sure it's facing this direction, so there's two of them. And then the third one, you face this way, and you put it right here. There is a spot for you to put it. Alright, now you take a 2x3 plate, fill that right there. A 2x2 two two plate, fill that right there and then a two by six plate, 
to cover up the upside down section. So now it's all the same height again, except for this one stud right here. Now take three Technic pins and fill in this brick like so. So just like that. Take two one by four plates. So this one and put one right here and put another one directly on top of it. And then you take a one by four brick again, same one that we've been using and put it right here. This is what's going to connect to the main body of our ship in a moment when we get there. So now we take a two by six brick, put it like that. Take two more decorative one by two bricks. Make sure they're facing horizontal this time. Put them like that. And then we take these one by two plates, notch facing up this time, with two studs on the front. And we're going to put one there and one right next to it. So if you look to the back side, you have three sets of four studs. All right. Then we take another one by three plate. We're going to put that right there. A two by four goes in the middle and then it followed up by a two by three. Alrighty. Now we're going to do a little bit of decorating on the front side here. This little opening right here. So you start off with a one by one plate. If I can find it. Okay, the one by one goes there. A two by one plate, not chasing down four studs. So like that. A two by one plate that we've been using a whole bunch of. A two by one smooth tile with a little extension coming from the back or like a small looking chair piece. Put that there. And a one by one wedge goes right there. Now, take another two by one plate and put it right here. So you only cover half of that. Then we're gonna take a one, two by one smooth tile one stud, put that like so, so it's not centered, and then you're going to take three of these sloped pieces, these two by one slopes, with a little section missing from the top, take three of them, and fill in this little section there. Alright, take another one by one, if I can find it, place the one by one on the singular stud there, Take a 2x1 tile, cover up our plate that we just put on, and another wedge. This one is a, what is it? Yeah, it's a 2x1 wedge, if I can find it. Here it is. Just behind what I was looking for. So a 2x1 wedge goes right there. Okay, easy enough. Take a 1x1 wedge, put it on our singular stud. Take a 1x4 tile with two studs, put it on the top. Take two 2x1 two smooth tiles, cover up this edge there, and take another one of the car haul pieces that we've used and put it right there. So it lines up with the upside down one, which I think looks pretty cool. Go to the other side, take a smooth 2x2 two two round tile. Put it directly in the center, flip it over, take this one by one uh, horizontal clip, put it here, a two by one plate with a horizontal clip on it, place that right here, take a lightsaber handle, and this small, uh, like it's like a light piece, or cone piece, whatever you want to call it, put a lightsaber like that, make a second one, and put them in the clips. Easy. And then we're going to finish this little section with this piece right here. 3x3 three three, uh, dish. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let me check my handy dandy instruction booklet here. Um, no. Not there. Uh, no, not there. Not there. Oh. 
interesting interesting there is a piece left over and I only look at the instructions when I have a piece like that left over anyway put that on the center and you're done let me see if it just everything looks right and everything is the right size and everything hmm that is weird so anyway we're gonna put that off to the side we will come back to that and put it on the ship when we're ready but anyway let's build the other little section so you take a six by six plate this time I guess we'll just use this one by four plate here You put it in the center like this and then a one by four brick that we've been using the entire time with the holes in the center all right one by two plate with the notch facing down two studs take two of those and then you're going to take a two by three plate and put it on the other side so this is the section that's going to have the most technic to it so take a one by four plate cover that up take a two by three plate put it like so all righty two by six plate goes across the top and a two by one plate goes right there now we're going to take this two by two brick with a little clip attached to it put that right there take two of these L bricks face one like this and one like this then we're going to take the, a two by one plate with the bar coming out the top Put it just like that. This is where the person's gonna sit, I believe. Then we are going to take. Is it different? I don't think it's different. Hard to tell. It's very hard to tell. But you, um. Anyway, you take a stud. I just don't know if this is the right color stud, but uh, in, in the end, it doesn't really matter. A 1x4 plate. Connect that so it stays together a little better. And then a 1x1 one one brick. La 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 la. Where is my brick? Here we go. Alrighty. 1x4 brick, 4 studs face it backwards so like that and then we're going to take another 2x3 brick that we've used place it just like so and a 2x4 brick like so now we're going to build a little different section so you start off with this um, 4x6 hull piece bottom hull you take a decorative 1x2 brick with the brick pattern so face it this way so this part is facing this direction. Then you take this 4 by 2 plate with two diagonal cuts. Put it on the front. All right, take another one of those decorative bricks and a 1 by 2 plate. Put it just like so and put it right here. All righty. Take 1 by 2 plate notch facing up four studs place that right there and then we're going to take this 2 by 2 brick with uh, slope extensions on either side and put it through here oops 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 I totally forgot I'm supposed to take a 1 by 4 plate make sure it goes like that then we put this on and then we put our little decorative brick back. Okay, so you just make sure you put a 1x4 plate there. I forgot to do it. Anyway. Um, what am I looking for? Well, I know what I'm looking for. I just Okay, so another one of these plates. You take it and you put it next to the other one. And then you take a smooth tile. It just happens to have printing on it for a computer panel. And you connect them together. Then you are going to be taking, not that one, this one, this 2x2 two two small slope, already has the printing on it, and all that fun stuff. You put that right there, and you take these 2x1 clips, 
or two by one plates with a horizontal clip that we've used on the other section. Take two of them, and that's where our the glass is going to be going for the cockpit. All right, and then we're done with this little section. So then we put it on here, I believe. Yes. And it connects just like so. So now we have the front a little more detailed. So we're going to take two one by 2 downward slopes, place them on either side, just like this. Next, we're going to take, uh, first we're going to take this small plate, 1 by 4 connect it, and now we're going to take some bricks. So you take a 2 by 3 brick, and it simply goes right here, and then we're going to take two 2 by 4 bricks, and put them like that. 1 by 4 plate, second one, put them on top of each other, and take two more of these 1 by 2 plates, notch up, two studs. Take two of those, put them like that, and then you put it in the center, like so. 1 by 2 brick, 3 tall, center cutout, then you take a 1 by 2 plate, Place it on top, make sure it's facing inward, and put it right here. And then you take two 1 by 3 bricks, put one of the bricks right there, put another one of the bricks right here, and on this side we take a 1 by 4 brick like that. And that's where it's going to connect to the body as well. Alrighty, three, three, 1 by 3 plates, and you take one of them goes there, you take another one and it goes right there, and then you take your final one and put it right here. So then in the center, you take a 2 by 6 and put it on top. 2 by 1 bricks, 2 tall, 4 studs, you take 2 of those and you put them like so. And now we're going to work on the technic -y section. So you take the 2x1 uh, brick, two holes, take a 1x2 plate, take another one of those bricks that we just used. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. So if I focus to this, here we go. Much better. Anyway, 1x1 one one plate, lightsaber bar clip, Put it like so. We're going to take a 4M Technic cross axle and this small wheel with Technic cross axle hole. Put them together. Make sure it doesn't go past the, the front. Put it through like so. Take this 2M Technic beam, half cross axle, half normal Technic pin. Put that just like this, so we have this little section, and then take a half Technic beam. So it's only half the thickness, two Technic cross axles, and you put them together just like so. And then we're going to connect that right here. So just like that, and then you take this L plate, and slap it like so. And that's our opening function. So now we're going to take a 2 by 3 plate, a stud, and then a 2 by 1 plate with this type of clip on the end in the center. Small slope, but this one is a 4, a 1 by 4 small slope. Put that on this side and then a 2x4 of the same version. Right here, you flip it upside down and it goes on this little clip, just like so. So a more upside down building. Now we're going to build the top half, start the same way, 2x3, but this time we're going to take three 1x1 uh, one one plates with the little lightsaber bar holder. So you take 
three of those. And I believe you take a fourth one too, if I remember correctly. It's one of those things I kind of forgot when I built it a few times. So you take a fourth one, put it there, and then a one by two plate goes here. Cover that up with a two by three plate. Take another two by three plate, paste it this direction, and then you take this uh, faucet piece and you put it like so. Take a 2x3 plate and a 1x4 plate, put them together, two L plates, make sure it all lines up just like this, and then take a 3x3 plate and cover the front like so. And then you cover it like this, make sure you kind of have a little staircase looking thing going on. And we're going to take two more of those slopes that we've already used. So the 1x4, small slope, put your sticker on. Oop, oop, I broke the faucet. Put that on. And then take the 2x4 version, put the sticker on if it's the real set, just like so. And then put it on top. Just like that. And like I said, this is our uh, cockpit function and all that stuff. So these one by two slopes with the section missing on the top are slopey friends that we've used about a billion times. Take three more of them. I can find my final one. Where are you at? I I I know I need us. I know I need another one. Where is he at? Why is he not here? That's not good. It is not good. Um, oh no. I don't know where that piece went. That's never good. That's really not good. I don't know where that went, actually. Anyway, you're supposed to put a third one right there. I guess I will find that piece eventually. And No, here it is. Leia, why are you hiding my brick? Stupid. Anyway, 2x4 slope, or not a slope, 2x4 tile is what I meant to say. Cover that up. 2x1 tile goes right like this. 1x4 tile with two studs goes like that. Then you take two more small 2x2 two two slopes. Put the stickers on if you're building the real set, obviously, but put them like that. Then we build this little side section. 2x4 plate, these slopes, 1x3 slopes, smaller, you need 4 of them, you cover the end up just like this, take a 1x4 plate, and then 2 of the smaller 2x2 two two slopes. that up and then you take a 1x4 plate put it on the bottom flip it like this and you're done there now we just take a couple you take a 4x4 round plate a 2x2 round tile cover it up that goes just like so right here Take a 2x2 two two smooth tile on the bottom, put it on this corner. Then we're going to take this, another one of these pieces, put it right there. And then we are done. That's pretty cool. So that's that. Oh, sorry. Then we actually take the, the glass, if you'd like to, and put the glass on like so. And then we are done with this little section. And we're going to move that off to the side. So now we're going to, I think, finish off this part with this little um, flap. And it'll have to be a third part for the, the final section, unfortunately. Anyway, to build the front flap, you take a 4x4 tile, 
two two by one tiles with double clip. Take two of those, put them like that. Take this special slope, uh, four by five or five by eight. And then you simply put it on top, put the sticker on, flip it over, take a 2 by one tile, put it just like this, and then take these turntable plates, but don't finish them, because you only get the, the top sections anyway, you get those, and then we can connect it. So that goes right here on these clips. Just like so, and you fold that up, and that's done. And then this little section we built simply goes right here. And the cockpit section goes right here. So, so far, we've almost completed the set. Uh, we just have this little section right here to finish, and then we are done. Oh, and the engines, obviously. But... If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I know I already said it, but I told you I was going to repeat it anyway. Other than that, thanks for watching, and stick around for part three when it's available. See you guys later.